So number 11 then from the 2016 New Hire Paper 1. Here we go, section of a line. For two marks just, point B divides the line AC in the ratio of 1 to 2. Find the coordinates of B. There are several ways you can do that. But looking ahead to part B, it mentions AC. Well, that means I would just go for the natural way to do that, the intuitive way, the visual way, which is to say, where is B? It's one third of the way along the line AC. You would start at A and go a third of AC, so find AC. You need it in part B anyway. So what's AC? That'll be C minus A. If you wish to spell it out, that is. 4, negative 3, 4, 1, 3, negative 2. Because in the end, it just says, how do you get from A to C? You go from 1 to 4, that's 3 forward. You go from 3 to negative 3, that's 6 backward. You go from negative 2 to 4, that's 6 forward, which I did without even looking at that, which, of course, is exactly the same. So that's AC. And then, so how do you get, where do you find B? It's a third of the way along. If you start at A and go one-third of the way from A to C, you'll arrive at B. So if you start at A, which is 1, 3, negative 2, and go a third of the way along the line from A to C, a third of this route, that will take you to B. And you don't need to spell this out separately, you can just do that arithmetic quite simply. 1 plus a third of 3 is 1 is 2. 3 plus a third of negative 6, which is negative 2, takes you back to 1. And negative 2 and a third of 6, which is 2, is 0. Which means that B is the point 2, 1, 0. Now, there are other ways to do it. You might jump in with the section formula and say, so where is B? Well, the fraction would be 1 over how many parts are there? 1 and 2 means that there's 3 parts. And then you do 2 of those, that's 2 lots of A, and 1 of those, plus 1 lot of C. So you've got one third of two lots of one three negative two and one lot of, so I'll just put it in its own, four negative three four. It's not as intuitive as that. Now, you could do that bit straight in the spot. Two ones are two and four is six. Two threes are six minus three is three. And negative four plus four is zero which of course takes you to exactly the same thing, 2, 1, 0. And there is a third way, the way you would start by saying AB to BC, but I'm not going to do it, is in the ratio of 1 to 2, thus getting 2 lots of AB equals 1 lot of BC, and then you split them up, blah, 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 blah and you end up with this. Anyway, I prefer the first method, feeling that, the section formula. B. K times AC, it says, is a vector of magnitude 1, meaning it's a unit vector, so the length of that should be 1. Find the value of K. Well, if you know the length of AC, if you want to make that come to 1, you'd have to divide by it, or just solve that little equation. K is just a constant and can come out. K would be 1 divided by the length of AC. So what is the magnitude of AC? Got it already here from part A. That would be 3 squared, doing Pythagoras on the three components, negative 6 squared plus 6 squared, a square root of 9 plus 36 plus 36, 72, 81, very good, a nice little square, which means the magnitude of AC is 9. The magnitude of AC is 9. The distance between those points there is 9. So if you wanted a vector that was just of length 1, you would divide it by 9. Or just as I've said here, K would have to be 1 over 9.